All right, we are live, and guess what we're about to do? So we are going to get this octopus ready for tomorrow's Feast with the Beast, okay? Because um, this is seafood month, and um, I thought what better way to uh, end, the, end this month than doing a great big four, it's a 5.5 pound octopus. So... Um, First, when you guys come on, if you guys can let me know that you hear me, just comment. If you can hear me, that'd be awesome. If you want to do a watch party or uh, share the video, that would be awesome. I truly would appreciate it. But have you guys ever had a fresh octopus? Have you ever grilled octopus? Right? So there's a couple of different ways you can do octopus. Um, and if you don't do a couple things uh, to prepare it, it will be chewy and rubbery. Mike C. Randy. Um, nope. You don't like octopus or you can't hear me. Let me know if you can hear me, Randy and Mike, and anybody else who's on. Uh, that'd be very helpful. Um, also, if you could do a watch party or um, share the feed to any group that you think might be interested in learning how to do octopus. Let me know. Let me know. Can you hear me all right on Facebook? And can you hear me all right on Instagram? Just give me like a thumbs up. Jeff Hall gave me a thumbs up on Instagram. I hope that means he can hear me. Um, but no. So look, we have a 5.56 pound octopus. All right. And you can see the tentacles are a good 16 inches long. Then you got the body and you got the head. Now, when you get these off of Groby's Foods, the ink sac is already going to be removed. So you don't have to do that, but you still have to cut this thing. Okay. You still have to cut it up. All right. And um, do a couple things to it before you prepare it to be grilled. Um, one of those things is going to be, you're going to separate the head and the body. It's going to end up being three piece, three sections, and then you're going to divide the tentacles up so it cooks evenly, okay? Um, Christopher, Joey, Scott, I mean Eric, Scott, Joanne. Um, so can you hear me okay first? And Joanne, that's exactly what I'm doing this live feed on is to show you how to do octopus so it's not chewy because octopus is, it is awesome it's fantastic it's very tender meat if you know what to do if you don't know what to do um, it is going to be chewy like a rubber band okay so I'm going to show you just how to do that and then tomorrow on Feast with the Beast I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to, um, to to eat this right and uh, Lucas what's up Jason what's up Terry what's up again if you can hear me let me know you can hear me uh, also, share the feed, do watch parties, whatever it is you can do. If you can let me know how many people are on on Facebook, that'd be awesome because I cannot tell how many people are on. Thank you very much, Terry and Lucas, for letting me know. Um, if you have never cooked um, octopus before, let me know. You can just put it like never cooked, something like that. Octopus comes from outer space. Dude, they do look like they come from outer space, right? This thing's getting heavy. So, um, but yeah, so you can see, look at the, look at the suction cups. Here, let me switch arms here. The suction cups, right? That's all pretty cool, right? And now if you look underneath, see that right there? That's what's called the beak. That's his mouth, okay? So we're going to cut it up. We're going to cut the beak out, um, the ink sac and the brains and all that stuff have already been removed, but we're going to take and I'm going to divide this up and show you how you need to divide it up to make it cook evenly. I'm going to show you what you need to do to make it nice and tender because I'm sure there's been plenty of people that got octopus and it's rubbery. I've ordered an octopus twice in restaurants and both times the entire octopus was like rubber. They didn't know what they were doing. Okay. And really, it's, it's actually a very simple process. It's just you need to do these things. So 
there's a couple ways you can tenderize this. One way you can braise it, like uh, you know, you're going to cut it into sections like I'm going to do, and put it in a pan, cover it with full, and braise it in the oven or on the grill for a couple hours. That will help tenderize it. Then you can pull it out and cut it up and grill it. Or what we're going to do, we're going to actually put it in a pot of water, just like you're making chicken stock or beef stock. We're actually going to make a vegetable, I mean a seafood stock out of this before we even cook it, okay? Uh, do they have any bones? They do not have any bones. They do have a beak, the beak right here that needs to be taken out. So it does have that. Let me see, kids would find my laying out on the grill in my face. <laughs> that would be funny, Jason. So yeah, look, if you guys can do um, some watch parties or share this in the group so I can show as many people the secrets to octopus, to good octopus. And that's what we're going to call this octopus secrets, all right? And they're very simple. It's only a couple little rules. I'm going to go and go, come over here and get sort of look, I'm covered with octopus juice. <laughs> all right. Now, like I said, we are going to um, make just like a, uh, you know, let me take this set of gloves off. We're going to do just like as if we were doing a stock, okay? So you want to put aromatics in the water. I filled that pot up like two-thirds of the way. <clears throat> it's got a rolling bowl to it now. <clears throat> I'm going to put carrots in there, onions, um, a couple garlic. Some people call these cloves, and I call them toes. Because if the whole garlic is a head, then these are the toes. And I'm not going to cut them up. I'm just going to smash them just so the flavor can get out of them. Um, I had a bunch of these baby carrots in the fridge that uh, the kids weren't eating, so I'm going to throw those in. I got celery. I got onions. Um, we also were going to put black peppercorn on it. We're going to put, I don't have any fresh parsley or thyme, but I'm going to put some dried parsley in there. We're going to put a couple bay leaves. And we're going to put some ground thyme in. All right, so first, let me throw all this in. And like when you're doing stock, you don't have to peel off the, uh, the like if this was an onion that had a peel on it, I would just cut the onion in fours and throw the peel and everything in. All right, so first let me uh, dump all this stuff in. All right. So you got, got all that in. Now, there's no real measurements to this. Am I must on a camera over here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. So you just kind of want to dump, you know, a good bit in. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to do like two bay leaves. Put, now this is ground up very fine time, so I'm not going to put quite as much of that in there, but you know, some good shakes to it, and we're going to put some peppercorns in, all right? Now you do not want to add salt, because our buddy right here that's laying out for us, uh, he's, he lived in salt water, so he's got plenty of salt in him. You don't want to add any more salt to it, okay? So, we just give that a good mix. We'll let that come up to a bowl again, but while we're doing this, that'll come up to a bowl, and, um, and by then we'll be done, all right? So, I'm gonna put a fresh pair of gloves on. Fresh pair of gloves. And so can you, can, that, can everybody see, can everybody see, hey, can everybody see my new place, my new um, table cover? It's pretty badass, isn't it? Pretty cool? Right. All right, so what we want to do, <clears throat> we want to cut this sucker in three sections. So this is the head, right? So you want to cut that off. These are the eyes right here, all right? And then this section is like the tentacles, okay? So what you want to do, you want to cut the head off. 
Okay? So got that. And as you can see, the ink sac, the brains, and all that kind of stuff have been removed already. Okay? Except for that little piece. All right? So, so this is good to go just like it is. All right? Now, this part, you want to cut just below, about an inch below the eyes. Okay? And so when you do that, there's actually some good meat in there too. So you see the beak? See, I cut the beak actually in half, but it, I was able to get the beak out with no problem. So then you have this. Now this is actually really good meat right here, but I'm not gonna try to salvage. That's only like a quarter inch of meat, okay? So, so we'll throw that aside. I'm actually gonna throw that in my trash bucket because that part is no good. Uh, this part here is good. You can put it in just like this, or you can cut it in half. I think I'm gonna take and leave mine just like that. So now what you wanna do is you wanna turn this thing over. You see how you got, you got eight tentacles, right? You just wanna lay it out like that. And you wanna just cut right down the center of it, okay? So now you have four, and then you wanna cut this into two. So that way you have two sections. So you got two of two, and then you're going to do it again. You're going to do it again. There you go. So now you have, let me walk these over so you can see them. So now you have four equal doubles, right? So that's what you want, okay? So you see, these are nice, aren't they? They're like, they're solid 16. They might even be 21 inches long. Let me see. Let me see. See, that's eight, 16. Yeah, they're about 21, 24 inches. Okay, so let me check on uh, water here. See how that's boiling? Turn it down just a little tiny bit. Okay, so you can smell the aromatics in that really, really good. All right, so now we're going to just start dumping all these pieces in. Now these things are going to boil for 30 minutes to an hour, something like that. And the way you're going to know, here, hold on a second. So that needs to come up to a boil again. So the way you're going to know that they're done is they're going to be like fork tender, okay? So... The first time you do this, what you want to do is after you put that in a bowl of water, after about five minutes, go and take a fork and try to push it in, okay? And you'll feel that rubberiness, right? The rubber, uh, it, won't let, it, it doesn't want you to puncture the skin of the octopus. So then after five minutes, you'll see how that feels. Go back in another 20 minutes and you'll see it gets tender. So, but you want to make sure it's as tender as can be without over tenderizing. Right, so we're gonna let that go. Probably, let me see what's my clock say. It said 706. So it's probably gonna go to about 7:45 to maybe 8 o'clock. Okay, Central Time. So, um, so that's it, man. That is how you tenderize your octopus. Again, now you could also do it um, to where you put it. Uh, in a pan, you do everything I just did, and then you put it in a pan, cover it with full, put a little bit of liquid in, and you put it in the grill or the oven for like two hours. And then that will tenderize it. 
Um, again, you do not add salt because it's got plenty of salt into the meat already. Um, when we get done with this, <clears throat> I'm going to be able to take that liquid and save it for seafood stock. Okay, so that's why we're adding those things in. It's going to create a really good seafood stock, so I'll let it cool down and I'll bag it up. I'll put it in the freezer with all my um, uh, chicken stock, turkey stock, and beef stock. So, um, <laughs> Brian Bailey, that would almost make a cool skull cat. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, it's not too late to share this feed. If you have, uh, hold on, let me see something here. I just want to see how we're rocking. Uh, Mike C, what's going on? Need swim trunks doing this? Yeah, well, you know what? That thing does put off a lot of juice, doesn't it? Um, what else we got? What else we got? My, my screen's froze up. Huh. Any seasoning in the bowl? Yes. So, Dave, you, you missed the first part. So, I put... Um, I put celery, carrots, onions, uh, a couple garlic toes. I put uh, peppercorn. I put peppercorn. I put thyme, uh, bay leaves, and parsley. Okay? There's no certain measurements to that. You just kind of dump some in of each thing. It's just like you're making a stock. Okay? Um, so if you've ever made your own chicken stock, beef stock, you do almost the same thing. Uh, there might be a couple little things that are different, but for the most part, it is exactly the same let me see here all right so we got 50 on here so it's cool do y'all want to see i know we got a lot of people that came in late so uh you're gonna have to i can't so see now i have it in here now let me turn this up just a little bit because that thing has to get boiling again right once it's boiling yeah, look at it. I just turned it up. It's going to start. Yeah, look. See, look. Like, I can feel the... It's like it's like a bunch of rubber right now. See it? Oh, wait. See, that's like rubber. Okay? So, what we're going to do... I'm going to stir this a little bit. That's going to come up to a, a rolling bowl again. Once that comes up to a rolling bowl, I'll take it down to a simmer. You know, like a heavy simmer probably um and then like i said it's going to go on for about an hour let me turn this up just a little bit uh thank you very much uh quinn by nate uh, yeah quinn by nation on uh um instagram i appreciate that compliment put a lot into this patio <laughs> there's like um a bunch of barbecue stuff right i can cook anything out here Joanne, how's the weather? The weather is beautiful. The weather has been beautiful here for a couple of days. Appreciate you asking. Uh, we're, you're having storms in Illinois. Uh, we had storms the past couple of weeks. We had lots of them. Um, not near as bad as they said they were going to be, but we've had beautiful, beautiful weather for the last like three days. Um, so uh, if you missed the beginning where I had the octopus and all that kind of stuff, all you got to do is when the feed is over, just go back and watch it. But remember, you do not add salt. That's like the biggest thing I can tell you on this. How you doing, Dale? Um, you do add peppercorns, parsley, thyme, uh, bay leaves, uh, garlic, uh, garlic toves, um, celery, carrots, onions. Just like you're making a stock, but this is going to be a seafood. Let me see. I uh, had calamari and not octopus. Uh, dude, octopus is way better than calamari. Um, squid, right? Squid, you get that and you, uh, you deep fry it and all that kind of stuff. And I love squid. Squid's awesome. But what I don't like is, is when you, if you go somewhere and you order octopus and they don't know how to do it, which a lot of people don't. Here, hold on. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Just see that thing got a nice, it's like a heavy, heavy simmer, right? It's, well, hold on, turn it down again. So you get it about on medium. So yeah, so I'm gonna let that go. It's probably gonna be 45 more minutes. And um, you check it with a fork. If it's rubbery, you know what I mean? It'll feel rubbery on that fork. You know it's not done. 
If it goes in and it gets fork tendered and you know it's perfect, you take it out, you let it cool down, you put it in cold water um, just to stop the process of cooking. And then uh, you, after that, then you cut it into smaller pieces and then you grill with it. Okay, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to grill that. We're going to make, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to make. We're going to do a couple of little cool things with the octopus on the grill tomorrow. And uh, that's 10 o'clock Central Feats with the Beast. Remember, and I hadn't checked in the last few hours, but it didn't look like, it didn't look like a few hours ago that anybody got into our seafood challenge on Grill Beast VIP. So, you know what that tells me is somebody is going to win and it doesn't matter how good their stuff is. So if you got some seafood in your freezer and your refrigerator, go throw it on the grill, put it together, and enter the contest. Grill Beast VIP Seafood Contest. Now seafood, we're saying in or on the water. So if it lives in or on the water, it's qualified for seafood, okay? So uh, 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 octopus was definitely on that list. Fish, um, scallops, oysters, clams, mussels, um, uh, because it's in or on the water, frogs, gator, anything like that uh, qualifies. Uh, so jelly, octopus grilled is small slice of, grilled octopus is definitely really, really good, man. And there's like all kinds of little things you can make to go with it. And that's kind of like what we're going to show you tomorrow. I'm going to show you a couple of dishes that you can do with octopus. That's really, really easy. Um, I thought about getting some clams and doing clams too, but I think I'm just going overboard, making it too complicated by doing that. So again, if you have any questions, let me know now and then I can help you. Tomorrow I'll be on too. And now there's a link in the description on Facebook that takes you to the Groby's Foods page uh, if you wanted to get some octopus for yourself. Um, if not, you can just watch me do my octopus tomorrow. And, um, but if you do decide you have this video right here that shows you how to tenderize it, Tomorrow, you'll have a vid video that shows you uh, a couple ways you can prepare it and, and serve your, your friends and family, right? I just keep looking back to make sure that it is, oh yeah, that's a perfect, perfect summer. So here, take a look at this. This is exactly the way, see how it's just simmering? See that? I might even, I might turn it up just a hair, just a hair. So see, see that? Oh, can you see it? Yeah. So look, that's gonna get like that. I'm gonna turn up just a little bit. Just a little touch. Yeah, so I got it up just a little bit more. You want like a, a small, not a rolling bowl, but a little bit less, so a heavy simmer. Uh, what pellet smoker do I have? I have a Pit Boss. I've had it for a little over a year. Um, I like the, I like it. You know, it makes it nice and simple and easy. You know, I mean, I still have my Weber. I still have my Barrel House, depending on what I'm doing. Um, but a lot of times I go right to the pellet, man, because it's just too easy. Um, so Jennifer says she's in on the challenge. Is anybody else in on the challenge? I don't know. Do we even have anybody that's posted anything yet? I haven't looked. I can look right now just to see. So we can see what kind of competition we got going on out there. But um, look, it's not too late to uh, share the feed. It's not too late to, to like the feed. It's not too late to do a watch party. Um, so Scott White, he shared it in the group. Good man. All right, here, hold on. Girl Beast VIP. Let's see who's in the challenge. Let's see. Uh oh. We got some. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. So far, it looks like we have four people who's entered. So, this is a wide open contest, man. I'm telling you, this is going to be like real easy for somebody to win. Okay? And there's two winners. There's a grasshopper and there's a ninja. Now, if there's no ninjas and there's no grasshoppers, well, then there's only one winner. So hopefully we have enough of both so there's a, some competition there. But if not, then it's just easy pickings, right? Somebody's going to – each person wins $50 gift card to Grill Beast Foods or Grill Beast um, 
barbecue accessories, either one. Are last month's winners eligible for the challenge? I'm throwing down either way. Um, I, you know, if I say no, then it's not fair to people who are who won. So I'm going to say yeah. You know, if you won last month, you can still win again. If if your stuff is the best, it's the best. So Brian Bailey's asking that because he won last month. So um, so yeah. Uh, what else is going on, everybody? Who's uh? No, we do not put ketchup on uh, octopus, my man, Mark. <laughs> so, <clears throat> allergies got my throat. So, uh, I know my son, Raspy. But, um, allergies have been hard this year on my throat. So, um, somebody's having a crawfish bowl or crab bowl or something. Because I smell it. And see, my, I got neighbors over there. Where are they at? Where are they at? Let's see. I'm trying to show you my neighbors. Yeah, but they, uh, they're, me, us and them are probably the only ones that use their yard around here. Everybody else stays in the house all the time. But they're always cooking out like I am. So, I don't even know, we never even met yet. So, um, you know my dad going. Thing was boiling over. All right, so I think I'm gonna cut out. Let me see. Um, everybody, I appreciate y'all coming on here on a Saturday evening like this. And um, I'll be here at 10 o'clock Central Time tomorrow morning. And we are gonna take and grill up that. Uh, um, we're gonna grill that octopus up and make probably two different dishes out of it. Maybe three if I'm feeling cocky. I don't know. See, see what kind of time we're working with. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for coming on. And uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.